Well, hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Amazing Seller Podcast. This is episode, wait for it, 700. What? Yeah, that's right. We made it to episode 700. And today, this is also session number 220 of Ask Scott. This is where I'm going to answer your question here on the podcast as I do every single week. And today is going to be a little bit different. I mean, it is the 700th episode after all, so we should do something a little a little different. And what I mean by different is I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a checklist here today that will address this question that I do get asked, I have been asked, and the reason why I decided to do my first ever live event. So the question that I'm going to be answering is how to get the most value from a live event whether it's mine or someone else's, and what's also next for the Amazing Seller Podcast? Well, I'm going to talk about that, all right? So first off, I wanted to remind you, if you're listening to this on the day that it airs, if you're one of those loyal, dedicated listeners that on Friday, you're going to put this thing in and you're going to listen to it uh, on your way to work or on your way home from work, whatever, I want to remind you that, uh, well, it's airing on July 19th, 2019, And on July 20th, we are going to be increasing the prices for Brand Accelerator Live. So if you've not grabbed your ticket yet, here is your final reminder, because I won't be jumping on air uh, unless you get an email or something, but I just want to remind you that Brand Accelerator Live tickets, uh, you can still save the $200 if you grab your tickets before the 20th at 1159 p.m. Eastern time. So there's your little, there's your little nudge. Go on over and grab your ticket because it's going to be awesome. All right. Now, with that all being said, I first off want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a listener. We've went from zero to 700 episodes over the past four years. That is just mind boggling and crazy. And I still can't believe it. And I've got such great people in my life now because you as listeners have also become really the extension of my online family, which is just amazing. So I just want to say thank you. It's been an honor and uh, I'm not going anywhere. So, uh, you know, I'm going to stick around, you know, I do have some plans on what I want to start to do moving forward and I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date on that, but we're going to keep it rolling, but I really want to dig into other people's stories. I have a special announcement that I'm going to be making at Brand Accelerator Live. Uh, It's something that also will be happening here on the podcast. It'll be an extension of it. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. It's something I've been working on now for about nine and a half months, almost 10 months now. By the time the event comes, it'll be a full year. And I am super excited to share that with everyone at the event and reveal that which I do believe is going to be life-changing for a lot of people. And I will publicly mention it here on the podcast, and that will be after the event, all right? And there will be a part of the podcast that will will be also, well, I don't want to give too much away. It's going to be a little bit a part of the podcast now, um, which I'm really, really excited about. So I can't say too much, all right? But here's what I want to do. If you have a question that you want to ask on an upcoming Ask Scott session, all you have to do, and you probably already know this, but I'm going to tell you again, go over to theamazingseller.com forward slash ask, and you can do it right there. The other thing that I want to remind you is if you want to tell your story about maybe how you got started, where you came from, how you got to where you are right now, maybe even the struggles along the way, or maybe everything was great and you can tell that story. I have a lot of people that submit their stories and I post them on my wall through email or through letters in the mail. Also... I want to start getting stories so I can share them on the podcast. And the other thing I'm going to do to celebrate the 700th episode is I'm going to randomly select after about four weeks of this airing, I'm going to select one person from those stories and I'm going to invite them on the podcast. And what we'll do is we'll have a conversation and we can dig into your business if you want, or we can just talk about life if you want, but we'll, we'll jump on and we will, we'll dig in. And we can treat it as a coaching call or just a call where we hang out and we we spitball a little bit back and forth. Uh, but I want to do that to honor you guys. I really do. And the stories that are out there, they're, they're not just my, you guys hear a lot about my story. I want to highlight you. I want to spotlight you because that's really what I'm doing here. All right. You guys heard Jada on 699. Hopefully you did. If you didn't, you want to go back and listen to that. 
But Jada talks about leading with love, and, and you can do that in business. And I've done that here on the podcast. I'm really leading with giving, right? And that's, that's what I really want to do here. I want to make an impact. And uh, so with that all being said, theamazingseller.com forward slash story. And if you go there, you can go ahead and record a little message and share your story. And I will possibly share your story on air. So you'll have to be cool with that. And then from there, I'm going to randomly select someone that submits. So all you have to do to enter is just submit. And then from there, you'll hop on a call with me if you want to. I'll, I'll just, I'll invite you. And uh, yeah, we can have a conversation and we can dig into your business and I'll, I'll give you uh, 30 minutes and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll dig into your business and we'll do a little coaching call or whatever you want. But anyway, would love to have you do that. I just want to hear more from you guys. All right. So today, all right, I got, I got digging through my inbox. Have you ever got into your inbox? You've been putting it off. You've been putting it off. You've been putting it off and things are just starting to pile up. It's like that drawer that just keeps getting full. You keep stuffing it in, you keep stuffing it in and you barely can get it closed and you can barely get it open. That's how I felt like my inbox was this morning. And I'm sitting there this morning uh, out there by the pool by myself. Actually, my, my wife was at an appointment. So I was out there by myself with my two dogs, uh, Maisie and Brody. Uh, and uh, we're just hanging out, having my coffee. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to knock through all of my inboxes, right? I have two emails that I really man myself. Um, I do have a little bit of help with some of the support stuff with support at theamazingseller.com. But a lot of the email, it does come directly to me and it's not filtered. So I have to dig through it. And, um, and sometimes I just put it off, meaning I'm, I'm going to, to respond, but I get busy, whatever. And then before you know it, I got five other messages sitting on top of it. I mean, you know how that works, right? And so it's not that I'm trying to not reply. I want to reply. It just kind of gets backed up. And then I keep putting it off and putting it off. So today I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and clean out all of my inboxes. And that's what I did. And I was sitting there. It was a beautiful morning with the dogs. We had a little coffee. And as I'm reading through, I'm reading some of these, you know, there, some, some of them were just testimonials, really, like just how much people are enjoying the podcast. They've been a long-time listener for a long time. And it wasn't like you had to reply. And it was just really good to read through some of these. So I organize all of those into their own folders so I can go back as inspiration for myself. Even the thank you notes that I get, I print them, I put them up on my thank you wall, which you'll see that if you go over to the amazing seller.com forward slash story, I've got my wall posted there. It's a lot bigger now. I've got a lot more on it, but there's uh, my thank you notes there. And that gives me my inspiration. That's, that's where I know that I'm leading with love because I get to look at those. So again, a little reminder, go over there and do that. But I just wanted to, you know, kind of say, if you're not going, if you're putting off your inbox, it feels good when you get it done, by the way. So go ahead and clean it out. Make that one of your tasks for the weekend. Clean out that inbox. You'll feel good. It's like straightening up your desk, right? Or cleaning out that sock drawer or whatever, right? Go ahead, clean out that inbox. You'll feel really good at the end. I know I feel really good right now. I feel lighter, uh, which is, which is funny. All right. So, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about live events, whether that's ours or someone else's, I want you to go equipped. So this way here, you walk away with the right mindset. You walk in with the right mindset. You walk out with an action plan. That's really what I want you to do. All right. So here's, there, there's actually 10 things that I'm going to go through right here. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to be using our event as an example. So if you're coming to our event, you can totally apply this. Um, and, uh, and you can use it And the show notes can be found at the amazing seller.com forward slash 700. So they'll all be there for you. All right, so the first thing, the very, very first thing that I want you to do is I want you to ask yourself before you even buy a ticket to any event, is this event right for you, okay? I know that seems like a basic question, but a lot of people, well, I guess a lot of people, but not a lot of people, it's not everyone, but a lot of people, they just start getting into the event craze, right? I'm just going to go to every event. And that's actually where I got the idea of doing my own event. Cause I had someone come up to me, they go, I've been to like five events this year. What's the, what's the other one I should go? What's the next one I should go to? And I go, well, what, what kind of events you've been going to? They're like e-commerce. I'm like, okay, well, you went to five. That's probably enough. I don't think you need to go to any more right? I think you're good, right? Because at e-commerce events, a lot of times uh, they're talking about the same stuff, right? We, we get it. We know, right? We know what we got to do. And I said to him, I said, here's what I would recommend. I think you should go to a digital marketing event or some type of event that talks about building external traffic or building out content or growing your audience. 
That's what I think you should do. I think you should attend that event because that's going to apply more to your business as a whole, especially as, you know, as the, the market shifts and changes and we're, we're building a brand. That's what we want to do. So then again, my light bulb goes on. I'm like, man, I really should do an event because I kind of just said the event that I want to have, right? That kind of, it takes the two and brings them together. I can have e-commerce and I can have that digital marketing side. That would be a really good event. And so I just kind of shrugged it off and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's a lot of work and I don't have the time and I don't really have the help to do it. And you guys probably know the story that I had with, um, the, you know, I had Kevin Sanderson who I met at Seller Summit years ago. And uh, he's the one that approached me about doing an event because he's got experience in doing it. And uh, he said, hey, I think you should do an event. You've got really good meetups when you have them and people are, they just, they, they want it. Um, and you should do it for the community. And I'm like, yeah, but it's a lot of work. And he's like, let me put something together. And so he did. And here we are. Okay. And so it, I, I can't thank him enough for, for doing this and helping me with this. But back to the question, is this the right event? So here's what you got to ask yourself. What is the event about, right? Specifically. Okay. Now for us, Brand Accelerator Live is all about how to grow your brand and your business. It's not about how to grow your Amazon business. Okay. That's not what I'm positioning this event as. Now, if you're an Amazon seller, is this tailored for you? Yes. Okay. Because we are going to talk about optimizing your current products, expanding internationally. Like we're going to talk about all that. We're going to teach about that. I've got speakers. Kevin's going to be speaking about international. We've got Greg Mercer. That's going to be talking uh, about how to optimize your current products and get them to rank higher and to get more sales on the products that you currently have without even launching more products. we got Ed Ruffin coming. That's going to be speaking all about optimizing your pay-per-click, not about starting your pay-per-click, but optimizing your current pay-per-click and using the new strategies that are here that are working now, not stuff that was yesterday. So you see what I'm saying? Like we've got those, but we go a little bit further. We've also got some list building stuff. We got some content marketing stuff. We've got uh, someone coming in and speaking on a blog that she's grown to a million uniques, and uh, now she's launched physical products. Because of that, she's going to talk about how and what is really important to understand when you're building out your brand, especially when you're using content to do that. Uh, we've got someone else that's talking uh, about Facebook ads. Monica, I, I mentioned her. Like, so you see what I'm saying? We got all these other angles. Mike Jackness is going to be there talking about his recent sale of his e-commerce business, but also because, because he had digital components attached to it, he got a bigger multiple. So we've got all of that into this event. Now, let's talk about something else. Let's say that you were going to a Grant Cardone event, okay? Now, I don't know Grant personally. Uh, I think he has made a huge splash, and he's kind of like Gary Vee, right, in a sense where he's made this big splash, and he's spent a lot of money to get that splash, and that's social media, right? And hey, congratulations and awesome job. But he runs an event called 10X Growth Con. I think that's what it's called. And uh, actually, Kevin went to that event. And it's just a massive event. This year was 35,000 people. Okay. But here's, here's the disconnect for me and why I don't like events like that. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't have to, you know, you can't go to those and you, you, it doesn't mean you can't like them just because I don't really care for them. It's not that I don't like them. I just, I don't, I don't like that many people, number one. And number two, it's kind of all over the place. So you're going to be there with people that just want to learn how to sell. They're just salesmen, right? I just want to be a better salesman. I just want to sell more. I'm going to be on the phone. I want to be able to learn how to close a deal, right? And then the other one's how to do real estate. I'm going to learn how to do real estate. Then I'm going to learn how about investing. And then I'm going to learn about social media. And then, I'm, you know what? You see what's happening? So it's all over the place. You know, someone there could be a social media agency, right? And they want to go there for that. Someone else might be there that wants to just learn about real estate. Someone else, and you're going to get little bits and pieces here and there, but it's not focused on the business that you're building necessarily. There might be little fragments of that, but you get to go there and you get big celebrities on stage and you get to be there with all the, all the excitement and the lights and all that. And Hey, if that's what you're into, do it. But just understand that when you're going there, you might not walk out with a clear plan on what you need to do to move forward, okay? So just be careful on those events, 
Nothing wrong with them. Just understand that when you're going in there, you need to know, is that the right event for you? Ask other people that have been to that event maybe and say, hey, I've got this type of business. Do you think this is a good fit for me? Like, Just ask people. Go on Facebook. Ask people. All right? So number two, okay, have a plan going into the event. Okay, and what I mean by that is, is what is one area right now that you need help on? One area, one, not five, one, okay? Now, you can have other ones that you're gonna probably get light bulb moments on and all that stuff, and that's cool, but what is their one area right now? Is it, you know, I want to just grow my Amazon sales, okay? Uh, or is it I want to get more traffic to my website so I can, you know, sell more stuff on my Shopify, Uh, Is it that you want to create content so you can then build your audience and get attention in your market? Is it that you you want to optimize uh, more of your own products right now? Like maybe you know that you could get more sales on those products if you just dialed up your pay-per-click. So you got to know what is that one thing going into this? Now there's going to be, if you're going to the right event, there's going to be other areas that are going to be complimentary, but... You want that one thing that you're walking in there like, what do I, what do I want to take away from this thing? Right. And then just make sure that that event has something there being taught on that. Okay. And the other stuff is bonus. All right. Number three, be part of the after parties, the networking. All right. I see a lot of people, they'll skip those, right? They're tired from the day or they want to go up and start working on their business. And I'm all about taking action guys and working on your business. But while you're there, part of the experience is the after party. Even if you just go for an hour, go there because magic can happen there. I was actually just talking to my good friend, Chris Guthrie, who he'll be there, by the way, too. If you guys don't know Chris, um, great guy. Um, he's known in the software world. He's actually uh, built sales backer. Um, also, um, there's other plugins he's done. He's actually helped us with giveaway boost. He's partnered with us on that. Uh, smart guy, okay? But I was just talking to him and he goes, you know, I ran into the guy that introduced me to Ad Thrive at one of your meetups in Florida when I was at Seller Summit. And he's like, if I never went there, I never would have been introduced to Ad Thrive because I met one of the work the, one of the guys that works there and he talked about it and I didn't realize I was I was qualified for that and then I put it on my site and I've had it ever since and I've made so much more money because of that. One conversation. You see what happened there? Like one conversation. So if you skip out on that conversation, it could be that one moment that changes something, right? So don't skip those, okay? We're specifically making ours so people are going to get together. They're going to hang out. We're not going to be in this massive area with a ton of noise. Like we've got a really open floor plan, which I'm really excited about. I mean, we literally went there and walked the place. We spent two days there and we just wanted to get the feel and the flow and all that stuff. And I really, really like that area. It's, it's wide open and um, you're not going to have to worry about shouting over each other. And there's a lot of other areas that you can go to have those conversations if it does get a little bit loud. So definitely don't skip out on those. All right. And then number four is bring your notepad and pens, not just one pen, pens, bring a couple pens. All right. And here's the deal. I want you to take notes during the session. All right. Now we've got some swag stuff, so we might get you prepared there. I'm not going to reveal anything, but we will take care of you guys when you show up to our event. But if you're going to another event and they don't supply a pad or pens or anything like that, well, bring your own. Bring your own anyway, just in case, okay? Because while you're there, while the, while the information is flowing and you've got this idea, just boom, scribble it down, right? Just scribble it down and just continue to listen and, and really absorb, okay? So that's number four. Number five, and this kind of follows what we just did, when you get done for the night, go to your room and do a full brain dump. And what I mean by that is take everything, all those ideas that are rushing around in your head map them all out on paper, like just throw them down on paper. Okay. Because then when you get done with the, the event at the very, very end and you you're on the plane heading back home, you can then go through and start looking at all of the different things because you're going to forget things. I guarantee it. And then once you have all this stuff, then you can start to organize it. And the cool thing is at our event anyway, is, uh, we've got Joel Bauer who Joel Bauer has been to a lot of different events. He's a huge Tony Robbins fan. He's been to a ton of his events, Brendan Bouchard, a ton of big, big events. Okay. And he's learned a lot about what makes a great event. He's going to be taking some of that experience and he's going to create a, 
an amazing experience for everyone else and also give you structure on how to walk out of there and really be able to create that action plan. All right. So, but it's, it's going to take you having this stuff here that I'm talking about, right? Bringing the notepad, taking the notes, and then doing a brain dump at night. Okay. So that's what we want to do. All right. So now I'm going to give you five other ones. These are bonus. You don't have to do these, but this is bonus. Okay. So number six, meditate in the morning. What? Scott, you want me to meditate? Uh, yeah, actually it's not that hard. Actually, I thought it was hard. I do it every morning now. Um, and it's not like I'm sitting on the floor Indian style with my, you know, my hands up. Uh, I'm sitting out right now cause it's warm out. I'm at my pool and I do it after my morning walk. I usually, usually walk around six fifteen to about seven. And then I go and sit down in my Adirondack chair. And then I, I use a, an app called headspace. All right. And I use that. And then from there, I'll just sit there for 10 minutes. It's guided meditation and generally it's visualization as well. So he'll basically walk you through. So all you gotta do is sit there, listen, and then imagine what he's saying. Like, that's it. That's your meditation. So it's not like you're sitting there in silence for 10 minutes, but what this really does, at least for me is it clears my mind. It makes me feel really relaxed. And then once I get up, I feel energized. All right. So if you can add a little walk in there before that, perfect, right? Because then you get the blood flowing, you get, you know, your, your energy's up a little bit. And then from there, you are going to, uh, you're going to have a great headspace, as the app says. So this way here, you can, uh, you can take and absorb, you're kind of like prepping the brain. So um, definitely recommend that. That's a little bonus, though, you don't have to do that. Um, number seven, kind of goes hand in hand with what I was just talking about, eating good food and staying hydrated. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but some people don't. They'll eat crap when you're there, fried foods or something like that. I'd stay away from that. I try to eat something that's clean uh, and that uh, is going to give you fuel for the day. All right. And then number eight, make simple cards, business cards, if you want to call them that. You don't have to call them business cards, just a card with your name and number. Okay. And the reason why. And I've had this happen at events and someone comes up and goes, oh, do you have a card? And not a card like, can I do business with you? Just that I want to get your number and I don't have time right now to, you know, fiddle with my phone or whatever. So just something with your name and a number and that's it. That's all you got to have or your name, number and your email or something, right? Um, and you can get them made at like Vista Print or and even Staples, Office Max. Uh, and then just be prepared because when you're out with people, they're going to ask you, you go, oh yeah, I got a card if you want it. And then it's just simple. And at a, at a lot of the bigger events, everyone usually does that. So it's just one thing that you could do. Again, it's not required, but it will, it'll, it'll be better for you because then you can just give someone your card. Um, actually there's someone that's going to be at our event. His name is Jim. Um, he's great. And, uh, he actually has these amazing cards. This card is like metal or something and it's, it's pretty girthy. Uh, but it's a, it's a cool card, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to forget him like that card it, it made a statement and I can't forget him anyway. He's just an awesome, uh, pretty high energy guy. Um, and if you're listening, Jim, you know who you are, uh, and we'll see you at brand accelerator live. Uh, but simple cards, just make a simple card so you can exchange name and number. The other thing, number nine is have an open mind and allow yourself to learn. Don't be so narrow minded. Don't think that you're going in there and you're, you're, you're not going to be able to learn this maybe because, Oh, that's too technical for me. Like just have an open mind and listen and learn and absorb. And then from there, take notes and then take those notes and brain dump at the end of the night. Okay. Just have that open mind. Don't think to yourself, ah, I'm never going to sell my business. So I'm not going to listen to this. Let me tell you something. Things change. I never thought I'd be standing here recording a podcast episode in South Carolina when I lived in New York my whole life. Like I thought when I was growing up, I was just going to retire in New York. I was never going to leave that state, but here I am South Carolina three years later. So never say never. My wife and I both said that we'll never say never again because we've done that a few times and we end up eating our words. So have an open mind. If we're talking about something, you're like, ah, I don't need to know that because I'll never do that. Have an open mind. Okay. That one thing can make a huge difference possibly on your business and your life. All right. And then number 10, this is a big one. Have fun and try not to look at your business while attending. And what I mean by that is you can look at your business as far as like, how do, could I apply this to my business? Like, yes, that's what we're going to be doing, but don't sit there and get into your numbers and into your pay-per-click. I can't tell you how many times I've been at an event at, a, at more of a, an Amazon type event and I'll see people like adjusting campaigns while the session's going on. Like, seriously? Like, 
why? Like do that later if you want to do that, but don't do it then. I would say don't do any of that stuff in your business while you're there, okay? Because the cool thing about being at an event is generally when you're in person, there's a lot of things that happen, but one thing that happens that I find is that it's for like two or three days, like I'm, I'm really, I'm focusing on the business, I'm focusing on growth for myself, for the business, the goals, and when you're at home and you're going through a course or you're, you're trying to learn, you're distracted sometimes and you're really not 100% focused, but when you've, you've paid to attend, you've paid for airfare, you've paid for a hotel, you're there to absorb, to learn, and to create an action plan right? But while you're doing that, you also need to have a little bit of fun, right? And I know with us, that's a huge part of our event. I want you to walk away having a blast. I want you to to feel as though it was so much energy and excitement and you're just ready to go out there and conquer the world. Like that's what I'm after. So I want you to have fun at whatever event you go, whether it's ours or someone else's, have fun and find the events that do have fun. Because that's what we want to do, right? We want to have fun. We want to be able to work on our business and work on ourselves and our lives. So just make sure that you you definitely consider that, okay? And I can tell you one thing. We are going to be having a lot of fun at Brand Accelerator Live. So guys, that is the 10 steps, okay? If you want to include those other six that I just gave you or the other five. I'm sorry. It was after five. It was six. Six is the bonus number one. So anyway, there's 10 there. Uh, and if you want to uh, grab those and, and kind of review those and even jot them down or print them out, you can head over to theamazingseller.com forward slash 700, which is crazy. And then from there, you can get that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that is to me what I do when I go into an event. That's the plan. And that is the checklist, if you will, to get ready. And if you are attending Brand Accelerator Live, come with that and you will rock it, all right? Now, if you're not coming to Brand Accelerator Live yet, well, again, if you're listening to this before the 20th of July, you still can grab a ticket at a discount. After the 20th, price is going to increase and also limited tickets are going to be available because as we get closer... I know that those tickets are going to be gone. It's a smaller event. We're keeping it small for a reason. We want you to walk away with connections, with relationships, with friendships, and also we want you to be able to really get to know the speakers and ask questions to the speakers. The speakers are going to be there. They're going to be amongst the attendees. They're going to be approachable. So definitely, definitely grab your ticket if you haven't done so already over at brandacceleratorlive.com. I would love to see you there. And uh, we've been calling ourselves in in our little private group that we have for the Brand Accelerator Live group, we've been calling ourselves ballers. And, uh, that's just a, uh, just a cool word or a cool saying, I guess for, uh, just, you know, people that are out there taking some action and, uh, we're going to be the original, the original ballers. And that's the OB group. And that will be everyone that does attend. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up as always. Remember I'm here for you. I believe in you and I am rooting for you, but you have to, you have to come on, say it with me, say it loud, say it proud. Take action. Have an awesome, amazing day, and I'll see you right back here on the next episode.